to access mainstream school or who might struggle in mainstream school come to us to learn um, life skills that, that they can use in their given environment. So it might be that they come to us to improve their communication skills or to improve in their confidence or to work on their mental health and general well-being. We use um, rescued horses as our main teaching partner because they mirror your own um, behaviour, your own communication. Um, they look for a strong leader so they can develop great skill sets in young people that they might otherwise find difficult to demonstrate. Working with the rescued horses is one of our unique um, features really because a lot of the vulnerable young people that we might work with may well be able to uh, connect to the horse because of its rescue story or its past and the journey that it's taken. Some can compare their own journeys to those of the horses and really relate to their their needs and their, and their successes. The first lockdown had a massive impact on Discovery and, and to be honest the charity as a whole so we had to stop all activities because all closed, all schools closed um, with immediate effect um, and as an ALP you know we're classed as an education provider so we had to slot in with that. The impact it had on the young people was immense because we just phoned them all up or emailed them all and we were like sorry guys we can't do anything we don't know what we can offer you we don't know when we'll be back so it left already anxious young people even more anxious and feeling even more abandoned by you know some of the support networks that that we offer to them to speak into some of our students following the first lockdown it, the impact was immense they felt really lonely they felt quite anxious that their routines had been so disrupted they were so unsure about the future and if they'd be able to return to any kind of normality and come back to Discovery. Quite a lot of them mentioned how much they missed the routine and being around the horses and I think overall it had a massive impact on, on everyone's mental health and well-being. This last lockdown is a lot different to the first lockdown in the fact that schools have remained open for the most vulnerable young people and, and we do work with the most vulnerable young people and there's been a request from both schools, parents, carers and other referrers for us to continue to be open to be able to deliver our, our courses to the young people that we work with um, and they've all been very grateful that we've been able to offer those services. After getting in touch with most of our referrers and the people that we work with they were just so relieved to hear that we were going to be able to continue to deliver to individual sessions. We've had to make restrictions to the groups and put protocols in place to obviously protect ourselves and the young people that we work with. But the stories we've heard is just been sheer relief, sheer relief that we're still able to keep our doors open even for these individuals. A lot of the teachers we work with have said, you know, you don't understand the impact that we have on the young people and that, that they're still able to access our services has made a real difference to them. When we had some of our students come back in the summer, the feedback we had from them was how desperate they felt when the first lockdown happened and how lonely they felt. And to a lot of them, we're actually a lifeline. So to have that lifeline ripped away from them, it just you know, made them even more anxious and more upset. So the fact that we've been able to continue with those young people in this lockdown has made a massive impact. And, and some of the feedback we've had from the young people is they, that we don't realise how important we are to them and how much of a difference we make to their lives. And this is the only thing that they're able to attend. Um, and without it, they don't know where they would be. So it's a real testament to the work that we do and the work that our horses can provide. We don't know yet the full impact that this third lockdown has had on the children and young people that we work with. I know as a mother, from my own perspective, the fact that, of the impact that it's had on my own children, um, and they don't necessarily struggle with their health and mental well-being, but it has had a negative impact on, on their mental health. They have been left alone to self-educate. They have been expected to suddenly get on with it um, with a lack of support from their schools and other settings. Um, and I've seen them really struggle with that. So those people that don't perhaps have as much support as all young people should, they're gonna further struggle. They're gonna feel really lonely. And it's not until we come out of this lockdown that we're gonna see the full impact that this has had on those young people. So I can see that the demand for our services is just gonna be even greater. And we're gonna be put under strain to be able to deliver our services.